Uh, today's vegetarian meal, green beans, mashed potato, a uh, vegetarian griller, and now I'm going to put the gravy on. This is Dorothy and Mary's barley, and a little piece of onion, a little piece of green pepper, and a little bit of orange marmalade. And here's the gravy. Dorothy and uh, Mary say don't use gravy. This is yours over here. Why? Well, their mother never used it. Mm. Totally meatless, totally delicious. The stove is off. Sit down and eat. No blood. No sledgehammers. No knives. No cutthroat. No suffering. Folks, you want a nice thick shake? Best shake there is. Quarter a cup of cashews, or maybe a half a cup of cashews, a half a cup of uncooked oatmeal, uh, four bananas, and a half a big can of pineapple juice. Great shake. You want some cabbage? That tastes delicious, too. I found a new cook for you in the uh, Supreme Court, State of New York, the appellate term, 9th and 10th Judicial District. His name is Jonathan Littman. And he's there with the other four crooks, uh, Kenneth Rudolph, uh, McCabe, and Tannenbaum. I'll be telling you all about that. Kids, don't believe anything they teach you in civics class about the court system or about the government of the United States. It's all a big lie. Don't believe a bit of it. Don't give them your heart and don't give them your allegiance. She's decided, folks, that she doesn't want to drink out of a bowl anymore. She wants to drink out of a glass. And that's the only telegenic thing that happened today on January 7th. Two thousand seven, the first week of two thousand seven is gone. The customer walked into the restaurant and said, is the chef in? And the waitress says, no, he went out to eat. We are thine. Do thou befriend us. Be the guardian on our way. Keep us from sin. Be thou our defender. Seek us when we go astray. She has her filing to do. Yeah, she has lots of filing to do. to the little boy are you related to the family next door little boy yes their dog is our dog's brother well are you perplexed can't you figure out the filing are you distracted are you looking out the door because you're distracted You are perplexed. You don't know how to do the filing today.
riding in a nice straight six Mercury white exterior and blue velvet, maybe blue velvet interior. And we're going to Walmart and we're going to the Calvary Assembly of God Church and feed the people. January 9th. On Tuesdays we do the rugs on the east end and it's sunny. And it was sunny yesterday. And Sebastian is the king of the rugs. We put the rugs out to air and to refresh and he enjoys them. This is the turnip that I bought at Save a Lot and it wants to grow. And this is a frisky little dot com. Plus it got into you dot com, the nice weather. So the rugs on the east end are done and we're tidying the house and doing the housework, keeping the joy log, rejoicing every 15 minutes. And we're on page uh, 29, uh, telling Rudolph and McCabe and Tannenbaum and uh, Littman and Angela Little. Is there anybody else? Uh, we're going to sue them for the fraud that they have committed in the Supreme Court appellate term. Uh, we are on the ninth hour of this excoriation that we're not going to put up with it any longer with their sham, their fraud, and their scam. Name me something that didn't exist 100 years ago, said the teacher. Name me something of significance that did not exist 100 years ago. And the uh, little boy says, Me! Jesus watched the treasury and he watched the rich people put in a lot of money and he watched the little widow who put in all she had, two tiny mites, like one-fifth of a set. Give your all to God, folks. Give your all to God. God the first thing in the morning. God every 15 minutes. Rejoice. And pure thoughts in between. Want to see some pure thoughts? These all stand for pure thoughts. 30 degrees and sunny. We are thine, do thou befriend us, be the guardian of our way. 
keep our minds from sin defend us seek us when we go astray I don't know if you can call this a snow or not folks I don't suppose you can see it very well but it is snow I don't know whether it is a snow but it's about the first snow we've seen this winter can you imagine that? No snow in October, November, December, January. January 9th, 8 p.m. We had a flurry, and it was, you know, it was a nothing. Then one day we had some that came down and stayed for about 20 minutes, and then it was all gone. And what I mean is the ground was all clear again. And now this is this one. I forgot to take a picture of the free hot supper at the Lutheran Church in Kinderhook. Yes, it was very, very nice. It was a snow. It was a snow. It was about a half of inch. And the sky was below. There's some of this aerosol has come in, but it's sunny, and it's sort of like winter on January the 9th. Okay, this is the first snow. Two others, you couldn't really count, but this is the first snow on January the 9th. And no animals came last night to eat their food. And it was a spaghetti dinner from the Lutheran Church, which was very good. This guy is blue. There's a berry still on the honeysuckle bush. The temperature is 28. And it's 10 a.m. And Dennis couldn't make it to the Gantt post office and to the museum today. Okay, that blue sky I showed you an hour and a half ago, it's gone. It's all covered over by aerosol. Dirty poison exuded by jets deliberately. And there's the last of the blue sky. And that's probably the way it will be the rest of the day. And it happens over and over and over again. Once we're lucky to get a bright sun then they ruin it. Let me show it to you to the northwest. Remember how pretty it was over here? Look at the mess now. Poison. Ethylene dibromide, aluminum, barium, cultures, bacteria, viruses, chemtrails. I don't know as you can see it. Yeah, it's at 30. There it is. Thank you, Jim Dean. Today's vegetarian meal is two small sweet potatoes boiled, uh, lima beans, uh, vegetarian hot dogs uh, mixed in with buckwheat, and... Uh, and many other good ingredients that Dorothy makes. Three little tomatoes, a dash of orange marmalade, and a thick shake. This shake is so thick the straw will stand up in it. And it's made of uh, a half a cup of cashews, a half a cup of uncooked oatmeal, 
uh, four bananas and a half a can of pineapple juice. That is, the batch was made of that. Of course, this is just about one quarter of it. Don't be afraid, Sebastian. Don't be afraid. Don't be so afraid, Sebastian. I know you've been scared. But we'll take care of you, Sebastian. You're so scared. We'll take care of you, Sebastian. Nobody will hurt you here. Nobody. Doc Com and uh, Sebastian just kissed each other. Now Doc Com is eating a vegetarian hot dog. Doc Com was washing uh, Sebastian's tail. No, Doc Com was washing Sebastian's uh, foot. Doc Com just wants to play Sebastian. She doesn't mean to unattack. She just wants to play. And they kissed each other. Well, at least they went nose to nose. I think that's probably enough dot com now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank you, dot com. Wash your own feet. It's a little bit of blue. Okay, we just put in the twelfth hour on excoriating Kenneth Rudolph. McCabe, Angio Lillo, Lippman, Tannenbaum. Many more hours to go on it. I have 30 pages of jot thoughts. You going to help me with that dot com? It would be best not to chew up the paper I just wrote. It just took an hour. Now look at that. How are you going to write a thing? She sat right plumb down on the whole thing. Well, so I'll have to do something else for an hour. If I telephone, that will scare her. There's something about the telephone that scares her. Why do judges stand on their heads? to turn things over in their minds. But these judges I just called off to you, they're upside down anyway. They can't even get a caption right side up. Instead of Glendora versus Charles F. Dolan and Cablevision Systems, down through Langelotti, they got it upside down, Glendora versus Langelotti. Dumb, 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 dumb. The minimum you can expect of clerks in a court and judges is that they can read. The teacher said, name something of significance that did not exist 100 years ago. And Bobby said, me. This is a this is a great hymn. 
Dear Lord and Father of mankind, forgive our foolish ways. Reclothe us in our rightful mind, in pure eyes thy service find. In deep reverence praise. John Greenleaf Whittier, a New England poet. Rise up and follow thee In simple trust like theirs who heard beside the Syrian sea The gracious calling of the Lord Let us like them without a word Rise up and follow thee we had our first snow first snow January 10th I kid you not no snow October no snow November no snow December January 10th and it was a half an inch and this little puppy is having a good time playing in the snow yeah. here's the sunrise that was blood red I didn't get to it quite in time it's a uh, 7 -0 7.12 a.m. January 11th. About 40 seconds ago, it was blood red. Never seen that. And how are you this morning? And in the bathroom, God worked first. It's been a winter sunset on the winter solstice. The sun was rising way over there. And now you see how much farther north. In the east, of course, it's rising. And that is our first snow. We had our first snow on January 10th. This is January 11th. Playing with a stream of water. Now oh, she's drinking it.
all of a sudden she finds out it's wet. You want to get in the window, so? The water level was too low, and she put her hand into the water and then drank the water off of her hand, off the tips of her fingers. So I put more water in it, and that's much more to her liking. So the first job of the morning after the devotions is excoriating Kenneth Rudolph, Angio Little, McCabe, Tannenbaum, Littman, and the two two-headed law clerks who sit in the jury box and scheme how to put the knife into your back. The appellate term Supreme Court so-called State of New York. Yuck. It's a long paper. It's already 46 pages. But I'll read it to you. Waiter! This coffee tastes like mud. Waiter. It was ground just a few minutes ago. Fighting bites. That's worth $3,000.